Hey guys, it's Renee from Cute Simple Stuff and today I just wanted to share this leaf necklace that I made the other day. The first thing that I did was grab a piece of uh, jello clay and put using a sculpture tree and then I put it uh, in the middle of two pieces of Ziploc bag just to make it smooth without it having my fingerprints all over the place and then I just went ahead and found this leaf on the street and I thought it was cute because it was small but still had the print like a cool print like all over the place and it it was I think it's it's a good size for a necklace then I went ahead and the pretty part on the bottom so the clay gets the print of it then I went ahead with my ziplock bag and pushed all the the parts of the leaf in order for the leaf to just really grab the design I'm sorry the clay to really grab the design and then I just went ahead and used my clay machine which is basically, basically a pasta machine and this will only help you to have the same thickness all over your clay you don't really need to I mean this is not a necessity at all I just have it because I just bought it because I thought it was pretty cool. You can always use a roller or do it by hand, doesn't really matter, or even a pen. And the setting, in case you're curious, I use setting number. And then I went ahead and with my X-Acto knife, grabbed the leaf and just removed it from the piece of clay. And then cut it with my X-Acto knife, cut it along the edges so I could have the, just the you know the shape of clay of the leaf and then I just started smoothing the edges because I didn't want my clay to just look just cut it I just wanted it to you know have a smooth surfaces and stuff and I just went ahead and pretty much did all the arrangements that I need to and on the top part is basically what I where I want my my necklace to be hanging I just went ahead and pulled a piece of clay and then send it to the back so it would be like a loop where I could just add my, my chain on it. I'm just, um, you know, arranging all the the pieces so it looks better and smoother and is more like um, a jewelry type of accessory at this point. Then I went ahead and baked once it was cooled, I just started painting with my acrylic paint, water-based paint. I bought this at Home Depot. I am pretty sure you can use like nail polishes. I haven't done that. And I just went ahead and painted it with my thin brush, giving it a couple of coats and letting it dry from coat to coat. I didn't use any gloss on top because I liked the vintage kind of look to it and added my chain to make this a necklace and have the clasps and all that stuff i think it looks super cool and it always saves my outfits i've seen the trend floating around i don't really know it's just like a past year trend but where i live there are people are still wearing this kind of necklaces and earrings so i thought i'd give it a try don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it if you have any questions let me know down below thank you so much for watching and take care